today's word vitamin is on being suspicious and of course whenever I think of the word suspicion I think of Elvis suspicious minds we're caught in a trap we can't go back and then you know we can't go on this way we can't go on together how does it go we can't go on together with suspicious minds we can't build our dreams on suspicious minds anyway I won't I won't torture you by singing it to you however suspicious minds most of us can put our hand up you know guilty of being suspicious when people are being kind and nice and I have had to do a lot of work on being suspicious um, and thinking and actually I just had breakfast with beautiful Barb this morning and she's been in my life for the last 20 years and when I was 10 days clean and sober this woman was so kind to me and I was so suspicious of her you know 20 years later I realized she's you know she's one of the kindest hearted people I've ever met but when I first met her, I kind of thought she, maybe she was a loser, she didn't have any friends, or I couldn't work it out. I thought maybe she's gay. I mean, I, 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 mean, I, don't, I didn't know. I didn't know why somebody I didn't know would be so kind to me. And William Shakespeare, one of my favourite wordsmiths, has got this interesting quote which says, Suspicion always, hurt. Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. And when you unpack that a little bit, I mean, if, if you've got a habit like I did when I was, you know, coming out of 19 years of active drug and alcohol addiction, so I'd been drinking and drugging and bullshitting to myself and everybody else for 19 years. I got clean and sober when I was 33, so it's nearly 20 years ago. But I was guilty of so much self-betrayal. And when you live drenched in self-betrayal and self-loathing and self-resentment because you can't keep your word and... And that's one thing that, you know, excessive drug and alcohol usage will do. It uh, compromises your credibility. Most importantly to yourself, because you can't keep your word. You know, you, you spend money you don't want to spend. You eat crap you don't want to eat. You say things you, you wouldn't say sober. You sleep with people you wouldn't sleep with sober. I mean, maybe you're far more evolved. But I personally was just a shipwreck. So, suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. Whilst I was feeling so guilty... I could not accept Barb's kindness because I, I kind of betrayal was just the lens I looked at the world with and until I started to detox and stopped betraying myself and created a habit of self uh, nurturing and self-respect once that habit started to take and started to grow I then noticed that um, if you've got respect for yourself you can understand in, in some ways why other people might have respect for you because you kind of feel like you've earned it if you're not a drunk drugged out train wreck um, people kind of do want to have breakfast with you and talk to you and, and uh, don't give you a swerve the next day when they see you. Anyway, there's a bit of food for thought there. If you get a chance to read the word vitamin, there might be something in that for you. If you're a recovering, uh, overly s suspicious person like I was, or if you've got somebody in your midst, trauma uh, and addiction really does um, magnify the sceptical, suspicious lens. So... Um, yeah, anyway, some food for thought. I hope it's interesting. Mwah. Lots of love. I'll be back tomorrow. See ya.